All right, I made it to New York City. I'm in room 911. What the fuck? In case you missed it, which you probably did because I didn't start vlogging until now, here's what happened earlier today. I made it to New York. I'm really happy about that. And I'm trying to get to the baggage claim and I feel like I've been walking through a mall for the past 15 minutes just to find it. And here we are in New York. Say hi to the Insta fam, Tony. Hi. Wait, this is not LA? No, <laughs> we're not in LA anymore. Oh, crap. Click your heels, Toto. Bye. All right, I'm back and I'm headed over to 30 Rock, Rockefeller Plaza, that's right. I'm heading there with? Hey, I'm not decent, I'm not dressed. Tony Lasano. Get this one thing That's fine. Do you need another camera? Here, take this one. I do, actually. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the thing I love about New York City is the greats. They're great. So it turns out, just like the airport and everything else in New York, the NBC building is a mall. I'm infiltrating the building. I repeat, I'm infiltrating. So crazy. Yeah. We're inside YouTube. Yeah. That's <laughs> inside YouTube. The hell all, so. <laughs> See, kids, this is what we used to watch videos on. Uh, How do you upload that? Uh, <laughs> there was a device called a VCR, and you had to be. Oh wow, my grandma watch. had one of those. Yeah. <laughs> take the picture for uh, us which oh sorry I never introduced him because I'm a shitty vlogger <laughs> uh, it's Stefan nice Holt to meet you. check him out check him out on channel the four. channel WNBC. 4 news on uh, what did you say ABC? WNBC oh uh, okay uh, <laughs> just look at the peacocks there are peacocks in the room everywhere you look I'm just razzing I'm razzing I'm razzing Anyway, yeah, that was really awesome and seeing like all the control rooms and actually seeing what goes into a live news broadcast. Those cameras moved on their own. It was robot cameras. The robots are taking our jobs again. And where are we going now? We're going to Beetlejuice, right? You're going to Beetlejuice and we gotta get there now. We're going to Beetlejuice, so, guys. It's we... time for a musical. You know, every time I come to New York, I have to do the obligatory trash shots because I just can't believe they leave their trash out there. Like, I don't know, like the whole street's a trash dump. In Chicago, we have alleyways for that, right, Tony? Yes, yes, actually we do. Uh, we and designed the city correctly. Boom, roasted New York. So up there's Beetlejuice, which we're gonna be seeing next. Confession time. I honestly don't remember the story of Beetlejuice. Like it's been forever since I saw the movie. Did Just don't I... say it three times. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, no, no, Beetlejuice. No, no, no.
lover of the booth side. I only ever want to sit on the booth side. That's all I ever want. They're doing the no plastic straw thing in New York too. Love it. That dinner was amazing. And now I'm at a Duane Reed where there's all sorts of candy and then the chocolate is behind the, bars. Wait, this, this, this one's locked. The Lint and the Cadbury and the Ferrero Rochers. Those are the ones that people are stealing apparently. All right, good morning. It's the second day here in New York. Day number two for the vlog. Not sure if this is a new vlog or an old vlog continued. We'll see when I upload. Uh, <laughs> anyway, heading right now over to ABC Studios to go be in the live studio audience for Good Morning America. Very pumped for it. Afterwards, gonna go interview Ginger Z while I'm not interviewing her. Tony is. Hi. <laughs> and then gonna go see Brian Cranston's play Network, which I've heard such good things about, and I'm super freaking pumped. Pumped, baby, pumped. And it's the final week. Oh, it is the final yes. week. This arm is starting to hurt. This one's holding some bubbly water. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let, okay. Gonna, let's move to a montage, okay? Walking montage. <laughs> for the Good Morning America show. And dude, we're like TSA pre-checking this line. I'm in the Good Morning America studio with Tony. Hey. And check it out, we're gonna be seeing the live taping. Nothing if I can't have you. I love that they're playing this song. I had a moment where I almost had a mental breakdown because they were like, you can't take your jacket off if you have it on. And I was like, do I check my jacket? Do I not check my jacket? What do I do? This became like the most grave, terrible decision for me to have to make. Ginger Z, she's all sparkly. Check this out. Look at all her stuff. This is a real star's dressing room. Dun dun dun. When I grew up, I wanted a dressing room like this, including the rhinestones right here. <laughs> anyway, this show is really fun. Um, I was a little tired during it because I barely slept, but uh, they kept that energy up and honestly, oh, what's going on with my lens? And I can't wait now to meet Ginger Z. Oh, hey. Here, look, it's Ginger Z live oh, in the hey. flesh. What? And if Tony's gonna interview her. If we're videoing, we need. That. Oh, whoa, like, <laughs> dang, oh. Yeah, right over, like. There, you that's go, someone. Go. That's someone who works in TV. <laughs> that's, that's someone who works in TV. Now I can that, be on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we're All right. <laughs> um, doing weather has always been your passion, but mm -hmm. did you actually want to be on TV when you were first studying? TV? No. Not you, at all. You were thinking of being a scientist? I don't scientist? know why I'm here. I actually, <laughs> seriously, so many reasons I don't know why I'm here. I pull into Times Square sometimes and I'm like, what's going on? How did this girl from Michigan who loved storms, who planned on being Helen Hunt, that was really what I wanted to do. It's like ridiculous. Anyway, I ordered some coffee from Starbucks because it is now 9.30 a.m. I've been up since five something and I haven't had my coffee yet. So I'm kind of a cranky person and Tony has to deal with it. Tony is trying to find the coffee place. All right, I have other bigger things to do like talk to my camera. <laughs> Officially 
actually be a good day. You know when you're a sweaty mess at the gym, so you use the puppy filter to make yourself look better, but it's not really cutting it. This is just a gym brag post, just a gym brag. So I got my workout in and now I'm back in the hotel room and I'm looking at this clip of the Good Morning America show that I was on and there's this really funny part where they asked us about housing prices and my face is clearly like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of, f I all look like most of them say it's false. Oh. All right, I got a tip off on Instagram that I should go to this place, Cinnamon Snail at Penzi for lunch. Apparently they got really great vegan options. So yeah, heading to the Cinnamon Snail now at Penzi. And thank you so much, Seth Joseph, for the tip. As always, anyone and everyone, if you've got tips on good vegan grub, but not like legit grubs, because that wouldn't be vegan, please slide into my DMs and let me know. I'm always open to that. And the award for world's cutest police car goes to this little cutie. Look at it, it's so tiny and cute. I love it. It's adorable. were the bomb.com crushing it cinnamon snails crushing it they crushed me for certain I am like just kind of moseying right now although we got to get to this uh, we got to get to this play the Brian Cranston play but I'm so full guys I feel like a whale trying to walk down the New York street and this is what a whale looks like <laughs> Tony's so mean to himself <laughs> there he is up there it's happening Brian Cranston was freaking superb in that tour de force. I understand that acting term now. He was so amazing in the scene where he had a mental breakdown. I literally just wanted to like go up there and grab him and be like, that's nah, okay. Um, it was spectacular, guys. I would say go and see it, but it's ending. So you kind of missed your chances. Um, Sorry, I should travel back in time and tell you all. <laughs> anyway, it was so freaking good. Now I got my bubbly water. Loves it. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll be seeing a comedy show tonight, which is exciting. 
and I'm just exhausted right now. You guys, I'm just, I, ugh, I just need to lay in bed for a second here. Oh man, New York is so muggy right now. It's disgusting. Did a little meditation in the hotel room and now headed over to the pit for a comedy show. That sculpture is really cool and looks like it has sprinkles on it. I wanna lick it. <gasps> That's what she said. It's the People's Improv Theater. If you are a machine, you are not allowed in this theater. You have to actually click the little submission form that says, I am not a robot, and that's the only way you can get into the People's Improv Theater. Little known fact.